Recording the second video in a single night. It's your boy Max from the All Black fan page and I'm bringing to you a video about five potential All Black bolters for 2021. This is an interesting topic and it just seems to come up every single year. These journalists are just trying so hard to get all this attention and tonight, well, I'm going to be one of them. <laughs> so I'm going to list you a player from each Super Rugby Aotearoa team who I think could be a t um, potential bolter for the All Blacks in 2021, and I'll kind of explain my reasoning why. If you want to drop the name of a potential bolter who's currently uncapped, just uh, drop his name in the comments section, and I'll have a yarn with you about that. Obviously, make sure to give us a follow on Instagram, I don't know, somewhere down in the description down there, and obviously subscribe and give us a like. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the Blues. And I'm going to bring up a bloke who I mentioned in the previous video, who is Jacob Ratu Maishavuki Nipkins. Jeepers, I hope he doesn't kill me for butchering his name like that. <laughs> so Jacob Nipkins, as I said in the previous video, is a very fast, very quick, agile, young player with a lot of confidence in his ability. He's already been picked for the All Black Sevens. He's been in Taranaki at 18 years old, and now at 19, he is in the Blues for his rookie season of Super Rugby Aotearoa. I think this guy is a very good player, and definitely one for the future, and perhaps even, he's going to get capped by the All Blacks in 2021. I wouldn't rule it out, because do remember that All Black wingers have very, very harsh job security, and to be honest, they've got no insurance on that. Once your jersey's gone, you're gone. <laughs> now for the Chiefs, this is um, a guy who's perhaps been around a bit longer. It's Jonah Lowe. Jonah Lowe has been playing for the Hawks Bay Magpies since 2015. So Jonah Lowe is a winger and centre, bit of a utility back. And Jonah Lowe, I think, has got a pretty quick feet. He's very agile, just like Neepkins. And he's also very calm, very reassuring on the field more of a leader type player and I think the Chiefs to be honest although they've signed low as an outside back do have a bit of a problem with center apart from Anton Leonard Brown. I really found Quinn Tupaya to be a player that opposition attack and defenses could really exploit during Super Rugby Aotearoa in 2020. Although he did look a bit better for the Māori All Blacks against Moana Pacifica and was also very good in the Māori 10 Cup, I don't believe Quinn Tupaya is ready to be a regular starter during Super Rugby Aotearoa just yet. Alex Nankivell on the other hand has also been around but hasn't really lifted his game. Whereas Jonah Lowe, I feel it's his time to shine. He's got frustrated with the minutes he's got at the Canes, and he's ready to rock. He's in the Chiefs, and I think that, you know, with Quinn Tupia not really being up to scratch yet, the 13 jersey could all but be Jonah Lowe's, and if he can finally just get a start for a Super Rugby team, then maybe he's got a chance to make the All Blacks for 2021. A bolter from the Crusaders is a big, huge 137kg prop by the name of Tamwaishi Williams. Tamwaishi may translate to boy in Māori, but... Dude, this guy is not a boy. He's massive. He's only 20 years old. Last year was only his first ever season of Canterbury, and he just looks like a monster at the set piece. He's got some size, and if he can continue to improve, I see Tamwaishi Williams becoming a huge part of the All Black set piece for maybe even the next decade if he could make the All Blacks in 2021. I think that he can. He's a behemoth. He's got the size. Now if he can just continue working on his core roles, he could perhaps be one of the greats. For the Highlanders, there is another Hawks Bay player by the name of Falau Fakatava. His infamous, I guess I'll say, mullet is... Oh, it's glorious. I love the mullet. Man, I wish I had one. But anyway, enough about his mullet. Falau Whakatawa has got a great running game for a halfback. He keeps his discipline, he's not chatty, he doesn't annoy the ref. He's a very good, humble team man hailing from Tonga. And I think Falau Whakatawa, now that he's eligible for New Zealand, could perhaps be awaiting the All Black number 9 jersey as Aaron Smith, TJ Pedinara and Brad Webber are all reaching 30 and could possibly have retired by the end of 2023. If Falau Whakatawa 
can just get some decent game time at the Highlanders or maybe even switch to another club for 2022. I see the number nine jersey being his by 2023 and I'd even go as far to say that now with Piranaro on sabbatical, Falao Fakatava could end up making the All Blacks in 2021. Now for the Hurricanes, I've got yet another Hawks Bay player. I'm trying not to be biased, but I think that Devin Flanders has just gone from strength to strength for the Hurricanes. And I remember actually, now that you mention it, he played for the same amateur club as me. And Devin was, you know, a lot skinnier back then and he's really just bulked up and He's matured into his body and he loves to score tries as well, which is important. Even though he's a forward, the guy's just really adding on the size and now that he's done that, he can really just dominate the breakdown, dominate with his carries and man, his running game, it's just so amazing to watch. Devin Flanders, although he's got a bit of a stiff competition for the loose forward spots, I think is another one we could potentially see donning a black jersey within the next few years and maybe even this year, 2021. So those players there are my five bolters for the All Blacks and I reckon that maybe four out of the five could even get picked this year. Make sure to comment your thoughts down there, okay guys? Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you later.